And all day long on the radio, they've been playing lots of the best music. This is Eagle 99.3, your community radio station. Before this press conference to announce that we have my office, the prosecutor for Durban in Ohio County, has filed charges against 17-year-old Andrew Conley for the death of his 10-year-old brother, Connor Conley. Um, under Indiana law, he will be tried as an adult. I would like to commend the Indiana State Police, the Rising Sun Police Department, and the Ohio County Sheriff's Department on their investigation that have brought these charges, and they're the ones responsible for making it possible to file charges here today. First, I'd like to point out Detective Thomas Baxter and Detective Glenn Potts from the Indiana State Police. Also, Chief Hewitt, um, David Hewitt, the Chief of the Rising Sun Police Department, the first responders who did an excellent job in this were Wayne Seekman of the Rising Sun Police Department, Wayne, and Adam Ziegler of the Ohio County Sheriff's Department. Um, also, like to commend uh, did you see Chief Hewitt, Mr. Fancher, and uh, Frank McIntosh and. Detective Rodney Rimstead all helped with this investigation and not here are Indiana State Police Crime Scene Investigators Steve Weigel and Rob Ewing. The facts are these. On November 29, 2009, Andrew Conley walked into the Rising Sun Police Department and told them that he had killed his little brother, Connor Conley. The investigation revealed that Andrew Conley choked his little brother until he became unconscious and then dragged him into the kitchen and strangled him until he was certain he was dead. He then placed a plastic bag over his head and secured it with electrical tape. He then dragged the body through his house and into the trunk of his car and drove to his girlfriend's house and gave her a sweetheart ring while the deceased, his deceased brother was in the trunk of his car. His girlfriend described him as more happy than she had seen him in a while. He then drove the body to the Rising Sun City Park and dumped the body in a wooded area, covered him with vegetation, all within a few hundred yards of the elementary school that Connor attended. This occurred on Saturday night. His parents worked the night shift, and during Sunday, he led his parents to believe that Connor was staying at his grandmother's house, which was not uncommon. An autopsy was conducted by forensic pathologist Dr. Dean Holly of the Indiana University School of Medicine that indicated the cause of death was manual strangulation and the manner of death was homicide. During Andrew's an an interview, in answer to the question, why did you kill him? Andrew stated, like I had to. It's like when people have something, like they are hungry and there is a hamburger sitting there and they knew they had to have it. Andrew also stated that Connor's last words were, Andrew, stop. I remind you that these are allegations and the defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty. And at this time, I'll answer any questions you have. What, what led up, what was the relationship with the boys before this? What have you learned so far? Well, I'll let Detective Baxter answer that. <clears throat> Actually, at this time, there's a, a reasonably, what I would consider a limited amount of information on that. Uh, the boys lived in a home together uh, with their mother and father, and uh, there is not any evidence of, of, at this point in time, in way of any um, unusual amount of problems that occurred between the brothers. Were there any previous uh, calls to the house that you became aware of? At this time, not that I have any knowledge of. Can you Detective, elaborate did Andrew on try to hurt himself in many of the weeks leading up to this that you, you learned? <laughs> so could you ask did me? Did he try to hurt himself? Did Andrew try to do anything to himself in the weeks leading up to this? There has been some suggestion that um, Andrew may have been self-destructive at one point, yes. What happened after that became aware? Did his parents do anything? Not that I have any direct knowledge of. Did they take him out of school? A few weeks uh, prior, uh, exactly the, the date of that, I, I couldn't tell you at this moment, but he was uh, taken out of school. Do you know if the parents tried to give him any help or anything? Uh, not that I can say one way or another. 
Did he have problems at school or? Not that I've been made aware of. Um, I'm not to take words out of anyone's mouth, but I, I've had some discussion with the school superintendent uh, who has informed me that uh, there wasn't any uh, unusual disciplinary actions or disciplinary, disciplinary problems with him. Has there been like a preliminary psychiatric evaluation or anything? Not at this time. Can you talk about the interview where Andrew talks about even going into his father's room with a knife? How did that come out? During the course of the investigation, we had talked to Andrew uh, on more than one occasion, <coughs> more than one setting, and um, through when we was interviewing Andrew, there was a, a chronology that we were following, asking him what happened at various points throughout the night, and he offered the information uh, about him entering his father's bedroom and uh, what had occurred there. Detective, just so we're sure, the parents took him out after some evidence of self-destructive behavior. What was going on between that time and the time that he hurt Connor? I want to I want to make it clear that I cannot say for sure that the reason why he was taken out of school was for that reason. Uh, I just know that he was taken out of school, and, it, and I don't think that I could accurately answer that. I don't really have a lot of information that there was anything positive or negative with regard to the relationship between him and his brother during that period of time. But he was just home at, at school and primarily home? Just far away. Do you know why he ultimately came forward? I think that that is speculative at this point. Um, I probably ought to leave with that. Do you know if there was any uh, evidence of drug or alcohol abuse by him in the past? Uh, I'm not aware of any evidence at this time of that. Has he ever been admitted to the hospital for psychiatric care? Not that I'm aware of. Has he shown any signs of remorse, or what has his demeanor been like? Unemotional. And you know, I asked you this, but I wasn't clear. Did they try to reach out to anyone during the time before Connor was murdered to get Andrew help of any, any type, any reach out at all? specifically that I could refer to, not, not this time. Can you tell us a little bit more about um, the self-destructive behavior? What what are the details on that? Was it cutting, or what was it exactly? I think at one point that there, there was some uh, self-destructive attempts by cutting. Anything else? Not that I could say specifically at this time. Asphyxiation, self-destructive? Not that I could say at this time. He tried to kill himself? I couldn't say what his intent was at that time. We didn't conduct any investigation regarding any uh, suicide attempt. Did he cut his wrists or where did he cut on his body? What I'm aware of is, is there, was, uh, there was some evidence that he had cut himself on his arms. His wrists? I would say his forearm area. On the bottom side. What you're demonstrating, yes. <clears throat> Are they blood, full blood brothers? Are they half brothers? Is one adopted? What I know for certain, they have the same mother. Um, I'm not sure if they have the same father, biological father. Uh, I guess for practical purposes, um, they have the same father. Mrs. Conley and Mr. and Mrs. Conley are the legal parents of both boys. Have they been cooperative with you in the investigation? Absolutely. And when did they realize conferences? I believe that that would be at the point in time uh, in the evening hours on Sunday uh, when it would have been a normal time for him to come home from his grand grandmother's house. Um, so for 24 hours, they did not. He took, he took friends to the area where he thought he had placed Connor? Only one of the friends um, that I'm aware of at this time. Is that friend of any legal jeopardy at this time for not reporting that? Or did the friend 